But I think it's very, very important as we look at this storm that's potentially going to be the largest hurricane to come to the United States and, land, and hit, make landfall since Katrina. Very, very important that, uh, that we play the way we've practiced and trained over the last year and a half. It's important that we uh, be mindful of the efforts of the state and that in trying to drive and manage and lead and direct from the NRCC that we don't uh, inhibit the state, inhibit the regions from getting their jobs done. And most important, that we follow the national response framework. Uh, there's a way that we operate. There's a chain of command. There's a way that we interact with each other. And we can't afford uh, to be in a disorganized way as we uh, confront the challenge that we're going to see here over the next five or six days. Uh, the NRF lays out uh, how we are to inter integrate with each other, uh, how we operate and support the state, the state's in charge, and we need to be make sure that we follow the plans of the, uh, of the framework and how we conduct our business. Most important, I think we need to inspire some confidence, and we'll do that by the way we do the things I've just talked about. And then most important, inspire confidence in the American public that they're seeing that the federal family can work with the states, whereas a team well prepared for the challenges of uh, Hurricane Gustav. We're taking the storm very seriously. Thankfully, so are the leaders of, of the states that could be impacted, and they seem to be well prepared. We certainly applaud the state leaders for all that they've done to uh, get their regions organized, uh, to provide for early evacuation for people of special needs who might need it. Um, so everything seems like it's on track, but it's a very serious storm, and so we're taking it seriously. And things could change at a moment's notice. Right now, this storm is scheduled to land Tuesday afternoon, but we've seen that change over the hours.